Hello guys, welcome back. Well, I do want to thank you all of you guys for your support, wonderful comments and uh, subscribing to my channels. Really appreciate that. You guys are the best. Yeah, so guys, I decided to come out at night and do a quick uh, vlog because I know this 2020 Kawasaki Z900 has all LEDs and I just wanted to give you guys a quick look and see how 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 is it at nighttime riding in terms of lightings and things like that. Just had dinner and it's hot out. We're in first week of summer and today is a pretty hot day it was a hot day now it's like oh shoot i gotta be careful in night. i didn't forgot the construction going on in this in this section um yeah so it's night time it's about 75 or almost close to 80 degrees which is perfect nice cool breeze right now i can feel in daytime i didn't go out today uh, it was a little too hot plus i had other things to do so I'm like, I'm just going to make a quick video for you guys tonight. Going out and uh, go on a, some dark, on a dark road and uh, see how the lightings and everything. So I'm recording with uh, GoPro Hero 8. Just watch some YouTube tutorial to see if I can get a best quality at night time uh, as good as it could so I'm giving it a try see how it works I hope uh, it's good So all of you guys out there, nighttime riders, you need to be able to like see the roads or you need to be seen by the other people. So you definitely want to have nicer and brighter headlights and all the lightings that you get, you get, you know, you get seen and also be being able to see the roads and what's ahead of you. Uh, so it looks like I'm not the only one out with uh, <laughs> the bike at night, I'm sure. <laughs> many of people many people goes out at night and it's it's, it's it's nice beautiful so so compared to my mt09 i would say the headlights are much brighter you do get a good quality of uh, light lighting uh, not only front of you but on the side uh, the the camera probably not gonna do the justice right now but they are really bright much brighter than um other other bikes that i have in the past of course i mean beside the mt09 all the bike had halogen headlights which i converted them converted them to hids and things like that that was the norm back in the days converting headlights to hids and nowadays we all um, convert them to leds and leds is much 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 brighter it's getting much brighter and more reliable and also a uh, lot minimal design it's easier to install LED lighting than HIDs so HIDs days are kind of over now it's uh, all LEDs and this is with the low beam guys the high beam is much uh, brighter let's uh, let's find the dark bit of the road and then we will uh, We'll see how bright they are. I know some people ask me why do I have the screen on the dark mode all the time. I just love the dark mode. I mean on my phone, computer, everything pretty much is on dark mode. It just looks cool to me like uh, dark background with the white lighting and white lettering. It, it looks good to me so I, I like it. 
I know I can change the dash to uh, white background and uh, dark writing but I like this all right I'm trying not to speed but you know sometimes you just can't Yeah, I hope the, the camera is recording uh, good lighting, I hope so, but it is really nice and bright. It's almost close to like a, a car headlights, like, you know, the new, I have a 2018 uh, new generation uh, Honda Accord, it has the LED lighting and they're nice and bright and I would say these are very close to, close to the, the Honda Accord headlights. Just the low beam and high beam is, I mean it gets, uh, the high beam is kind of narrow and it's a nice cut like if, you know, there's a car in front of me but uh, I'll show you guys when I get on the freeway, hopefully not much traffic. I just want to thank you guys for, you know, so much love and nice comments but I do want um, you guys to you know ask questions or contents that you guys want to see like if you guys have a question especially with people are getting into motorcycling I one of my uh, my last video I talked about um, how I got into motorcycling and what has helped me so if you guys are trying to I mean thinking about getting into riding and if you have questions you know feel free to ask and I'll probably try to make a video for you guys I love lightings on on cars and bikes some reason it you know I'm very interested in like nice and bright and LED and something is much brighter than like halogen in the past when I used to like get older cars I always upgrade them to HIDs to make brighter headlight even though some of, some of them weren't street legal I um, also changed those LEDs uh, the indicators to LEDs I know I have talked about it in the past that how I didn't like the Kawasaki USA models has the halogen indicator except everything else is LED so I decided to go with this um, LED turn signal I will link uh, in the description below they are the best you can get nice and bright and big like a factory ones but it's much better Alright guys, I'm gonna get on the um, highway right now. We have our parkway which has no um, street lights so it should be dark. See the cornering is really good. On the MT-09 when you turn you pretty much like blocked everything in front of you so. So this is the high beam so let's look out for these cars because I <laughs> there you go oh, seriously see you guys
see those LED turn signals are so brighter guys it's like I'll, I'll show you guys the clip If you guys can see the the turn signals they are the brightest I have seen it's like so much brighter it's like crazy if you guys can see the reflection on the like on the stop sign or on the back zone slow down as you guys can see how bright those headlights are so if you guys are looking into get something with nice LED lights I mean this is not the only reason that you would buy a motorcycle has an LED lights but just letting you know if you guys are looking into hyper naked motorcycle I mean Z900 is one of the top bikes so far not not because I have the I own this bike I'm saying good things about the bike but if you guys go and search for search in YouTube or anywhere else just google it you will see like Z900 is in top 5 for the price you pay and the value you get for the money so that's a thumbs up guys Once again, thank you so much for guys subscribing and liking my video and leaving nice comments. But if you guys are interested to know, just want to get into riding, and if you need some, you know, tips or tricks, you know, ask a question. I'll try to answer them in best in my ability. All right, go, man, go. I think he's missing the highway ramp. You hear this song guys? I love it. It's so addicting. It's like I'm gonna have a video coming for uh, why I switched to Z900 from MT09. So I don't want any spoil. You know it's not any spoiler but it's gonna be coming up very soon. But this inline 4 I enjoy. <laughs> See, right now I'm actually not <laughs> I mean, I'm speeding right now I'm, I, I apologize guys I know it's <laughs> you just you just can't stop yourself from doing it you know you just it just happens you know it's uh ow that's a bump So I hope 
hope the video comes out okay when I go home because this is the first time I went out to ride at night and uh, I'll see how the GoPro handles it and probably have to tweak it a bit to get it better quality but you don't know until you go back and plug it to your computer then you you'll be able to see Before I get off the bike, what I'm gonna do is I will show you guys the brake light modulator at night and those um, turn signals that I have or installed. The LED ones, they look really good uh, and much, much bright too. So, as you guys can see, the look at the line of the headlight, like it's so, as you can see, and if I put my high beam on, see how bright it gets. It's good. Oh shit, the light came on. Here you go, let me show you guys. See how bright they are? They are insanely bright. I mean, this is nighttime, but at daytime, I'm almost like getting blinded by those light, those indicators. So they are awesome. And look at the uh, brake line modulator so when you step on it you get blink and then get solid and look at the front it's beautiful wow look at those lights so bright i mean you don't even have to ha have high beam on during the daytime just to be visible like this is just fine with my mt09 i always had high beam on even though they have nice leds but they weren't as bright as this one this is like i would say 30 times or more brighter than the mt09 is much much brighter all right guys this is it i'm gonna check out from here and uh, i will see you guys soon